In a crucial move, Chief Justice of India D.Y. Chandrachud has urged resident doctors to return to work amidst ongoing protests sparked by the tragic murder of a resident doctor at Kolkata's Ajikar Hospital. The court assured the medical community that no disciplinary action would be taken if they resumed their duties. During the hearing, Justice Chandrachur expressed concern about the potential victimization of striking doctors, emphasizing that any administrative actions must be lawful. He highlighted that doctors on emergency duty should not be marked absent, stressing the importance of impartiality in handling the situation. The court's decision followed arguments from doctors' representatives, who voiced concerns over punitive measures like casual leave deductions. Despite the protests, doctors continued working on emergency calls, and the court recognized their efforts. Justice Chandrachud reassured doctors, specifically mentioning Dr. Vivek Lal, director of PGIMER, Chandigarh, stating he believed senior medical professionals would not engage in unfair treatment. The court acknowledged the broader impact of the strike on public health infrastructure and emphasized that no punitive action would be taken against the doctors. Justice Chandrachud also stressed the need to consider all perspectives, including those of resident doctors. He mentioned that a committee, formed by the court, would consult with relevant parties, ensuring the issues raised by healthcare workers are thoroughly addressed. In summary, the court is committed to a balanced approach, protecting public health while ensuring frontline healthcare workers' voices are heard. Are they at work? If they are not at work, they will be marked absent. How can we ask them to do something? Not, not allowing in the exams, Lord, Lord, in one way or the other, Lord. If, in the, if a lenient they will are, be taken, Lord, if a lenient will be taken. If they are on duty, if they are on duty, they will not be marked absent. If they are not on duty, the law will have to follow its course. How can we tell the administration to take up, uh, to write something which is not correct? No, with respect to the exams and all that, Lord, the, the lenient will be taken, Lord. Because because of this reason, Lord, they are on protesting or, or on strike. That's all right. So yes. Ask them all, ask them to first return to work. Yes. Once they return to work, then if nobody is going to take any adverse action against the doctors. That, that will come back to work. A word from your lordship will work not for them. Let them first come back to work. And then if there's any difficulty, just talk to us in the court here. We'll make sure that there's no adverse action against the doctors. Very well. We quite see that they were all upset about the fact that there was a very serious incident which took place. But let them first report to work. Yeah. And then once having reported... They have reported back, not They have reported back. They have reported back. Ames Nagpur reported back. No, the resident doctor, they have joined the... Your Lordship, there is, uh, Lordship in PGI Chandigarh, they are going in for a rally for two hours in the morning, but they are doing all their duties. But for nine days, their CL has been deducted now from the leave. So that is a victimization. Yes, you I also see. have to write the research papers I, and... I, I don't uh, think, you know, somebody like Dr. Vivek Lal, he's the director at PGI Chandigarh, that he will do anything it, which is Lord, which amounts to victimization. Lordship, I'm only saying... That all very individually, that ultimately, the directors of these institutions, yes, he made a statement. they also have their heart with the doctors, but yes, they are in a situation where poor people who come to those institutions cannot be left behind in the lurch. Yes, sir. That they take appointments two years before the actual date. And then suddenly you are told that you will not be attended to. Let them all resume work. And I'm sure the directors are all very seasoned directors who spend their life in these institutions. They are not going to do anything against the doctors. I think Lord, 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 right now the notice is, the notice that they have been given is that since or for now. Some general order. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Pass some general yes, order on that. I, I, may I make Lord, may I, one? May I say some rest assured, please rest assured that once the doctors, we hope, resume duty, then we will prevail upon the authorities not to take any uh, adverse, uh, adverse action. Very well yes. But they must first come back to duty for the simple reason, otherwise, the people who they are, people who, they are, people who, need, are people who need the services the most are deprived of their yes. services. That's the only concern. How does the public health infrastructure run if the doctors don't resume work? Lord, uh, only my Lord, All right, now first let's have the uh, status report. We first want to see Lord, the these are the three report. copies. Lord, I believe the anguish of the doctor is correct, but having uh, come from your lordships. An assurance that your lordships are looking into it, Malod. I think that should satisfy Malaja. With the assurance of no adverse action, Malod. Lord, we are absolutely not grateful to your lordships that lordships have intervened. Lord, we have not been heard, Malod, at all. Our grievances, Malod, are at the forefront because we are, Malod, facing the brunt, brunt of this, Malod, uh, whatever well, is The reason why we constituted such a broad-based committee is that we have specifically said that 
the committee shall engage with all stakeholders okay. including that will include the resident doctors so please assure them yes. please assure them yes. that the committee that the, one second is sorry yes. please assure the uh, resident doctors they all are young doctors that they will be by the uh, heard lot and some representation but tell us one thing we can hear you federation. mr uh, uh, mr kamath we hear you for half an hour we are not going to, we are not the committee because ultimately you have to be request, heard by the committee yes what we were requesting my lord some my lord's uh, association whatever your lordship yes. choose lord, some representative from the resident doctors association if they can be a yes. part of the committee yes so there is one second I'm, I'm sorry i'm not saying uh you see the please understand but we leave it to your lordships my lord. sir come please voice, understand we have, we have thought you. through this very carefully yeah. if we start now asking for the representatives of various stakeholders to be a part of the committee that becomes an impossible process because you know the committee's work will then get dislocated you know what happens you have such an experience yourself at the same time we are conscious of the fact that the primary concerns of the doctors the no. nurses the paramedical staff there's a fair drive to be taken into account by the members of the committee yeah. you know for two things that on the committee we have very where very senior women doctors in the committee yeah. the doctors who are on the committee are people who have worked for a long time in their life as part of public health infrastructure so therefore what we have expected the